All right, so we got the moon in Capricorn at the moment. And of course, it's kind of like debilitated here. don't like being here. So of course, it's the things that you got to do, even though you don't want to do it. We also had the new moon in the Capricorn, which was few, few, few weeks ago. Then we had that full moon in Cancer. But when this new moon, with this moon being in Capricorn at the moment, we have Pluto in Capricorn. We got Mars in Capricorn. We got Mercury in Capricorn. We got Venus in Capricorn, just got out of retrograde. And also, we got about five planets in Capricorn, which is also that Mercury in Capricorn. And Mercury in retrograde will be over on the third. So, being that Pluto is in Capricorn, Mars is in Capricorn, this is over exhaustion, over extreme energies, over extreme intensities. And of course, we may have a whole lot of urges during this time when it comes to your actions, your reactions, your responses to things. You also got to basically get ready to transform something, letting something go, getting rid of something. And of course, 10 times out of 10, you may not want to basically do this. But in order for you to do this, you got to let go of the good seeds or the bad seeds that you basically bear fruit when we had that new moon in Capricorn. And of course, it's made its full rotation towards Cancer full moon. Now, being that we got to get rid of this fruit is because this fruit is no longer going to basically be needed when the new moon gets into Aquarius. This means you got to come up with new ideas, new feelings, new emotions, new ways to basically associate yourself. And of course, you got to get serious in this area too because Saturn is also in Aquarius, which is basically co-ruler of basically Capricorn and of course, dealing with that 10th house energies. You got to also basically get ready and get prepared to basically go ahead and take the next step towards planting good seeds, towards basically getting up off your ass, towards putting the energy work, towards basically going after what you're chasing because of course, if you, if you ain't serious about what you're chasing then the stars ain't gonna be serious about giving you these chases or basically your spirit ain't gonna basically be serious about basically making things happen for you so you gotta make shit happen for me you can't just wait around sitting around thinking for shit that's gonna get happen you gotta basically take that step you gotta have that vision you gotta have the clear vision you gotta have the right ideas big ideas you gotta have the right feelings the right emotions the right expressions you gotta have the right energies you gotta basically get ready to basically direct this you gotta basically get ready to blend the floor together and when you blend the floor elements together you gotta basically take the right steps take the right approaches you gotta be consistent you can't let off you can't basically lose yourself for me and when the full moon comes for me that's the whole time that's the time to basically get relaxed for me calm down and of course get connected with the world but when that moon is waxing this is the time to basically get selfish separate from the world separate from your friends your family especially the individuals that's basically not into the same circle of you trying to manifest for me because the government do this shit they come together they got a full leech where they can just come together practice witchcraft on you rituals on you and of course it's how to control you by setting up certain agendas that basically get you wrapped up into so you got to set your own agenda you got to basically be ready, be ready to take your power back. Because if you ain't taking your power back, they're going to confiscate your power, use your power, and of course, treat you like a bitch and abuse you. So you got to get your power back. And of course, you got to stay focused.